What's going on, YouTube? This is What Would Josh Do? And this is not something I normally do. I just got off work. I operate a machine. I was having a crappy freaking day. But I just kept thinking about making this video. And here I am. I literally just got off work. So you're going to have to just deal with it. <laughs> All right. So this is my Nexus 6P. Now, I got my Gear S and I do have my Note 5. Uh, and uh, I had to go back to it after I returned my Note 7 which is fine, and th they told me that this would not work on anything other than a Samsung phone, and that is a lie. That is a complete lie. <laughs> I don't, maybe they just didn't know what they were talking about. The chick had only been there a few months, but unfortunately, you have to install a lot of apps that are Samsung apps. So here you go. Well, you got to download the Samsung accessory service, the Gear S plugin, uh, Gear this, Samsung that, Samsung this like so many Samsung things had to be installed to make this work uh, and I'm someone who had an LG G watch when it first came out I uh, you had a Zen watch too until my, my wife apparently just got rid of it today I was gonna, gonna grab it to make a video but it wasn't there anymore and she freaking I'm his on credit for it but uh I'm so used to Android Wear and th this is going to be something that's going to take some time and it's going to get used to going from Android Wear to Tizen Samsung the gear thing now I, I have I have some things to say this is my first impression initial review not the full uh, how I feel about the device because there's things I don't know just yet because I just got this thing last night Right before they closed, I called him up and was like, hey, do you have a, um, a Gear S in stock or S3? And he's like, yeah, I have one. I'm like, dang it, just one? I, I got the wife one too, man. Uh, they're like 400 freaking bucks, but we paid like, I think $15 a month for each of them. And then they add five bucks to your line. So if you get two of these like I did, you're going to look at paying an extra 40 bucks a month, whatever. Anyways, it, <laughs> It's going to take me some time to get used to Tizen because Tizen is completely different than Android Wear. Android Wear is like the Firefox before Chrome came out. Solid, has all these things and add-ons and features it can do. And here comes Google Chrome, this promising browser made by the best company in the world. But none of, your, none of the things you're used to using work. Like switching from app Android to Apple, or, or better yet, from Apple to Android. None of the things you were used to work over there. And you got to find workarounds, different solutions. And these apps that I paid for, uh, they, they're not going to work on my watch. So I'm definitely still very much invested in Android Wear. And we'll see how that evolves. And as devices come out, if I can afford them, I'll try to get them. And go from there but so <laughs> anyways you have to install a whole bunch of Samsung stuff to get your gear s to talk to your nexus but it can and here's my gear s so if you flick it up it's a screen supposed to turn on every once in a blue moon i just go ahead and press the little back button right here to get the screen to turn on it is what it is it's not the end of the world uh, i guess it could be a little bit better but here we go. This is my custom home screen. I did go ahead and customize this using the app on my phone. And then I set the colors and what information I wanted displayed up here. And for whatever reason, the weather is not working. Uh, in Deep in the settings, I did find today that I just got this last night. So I am very much still uh, just figuring this thing out. So under device, so under connections, I'm sorry, under connections. There's some things to play around with here. Bluetooth, mobile networks. You can turn Wi-Fi on. NFC was off. So if you want Samsung Pay, which is something I'm definitely interested, how baller would it be paying for something with your watch? I mean, come on. That's freaking baller. So alerts, airplane mode, data usage, location. So under here, this was off. I went ahead and turned it on and said it's a GPS and wireless. You can do wireless networks. So like your 4G LTE your or your Wi-Fi or whatever you're using, or you can just do the built-in GPS on the watch. So haven't figured out how to use it yet. I don't have a maps app on here to show you. I have a lot to figure out and play with. So I'm not even sure. Like if I've decided within 14 days that I just cannot do this, I will go ahead and return it. I know I got a restocking fee, wah, whatever. It is what it is. Uh, it's a four hundred dollar watch, fifty dollar restocking fee. I'll take the hit if I need to, but so far, I, I'm definitely liking it. It's, it's, uh, cool. 
because it's a, it's its own little entity, its own little thing. So there's a little icon up there for the watch. That's letting me know it's in standalone mode. So basically, when I drag this down, you're going to see that I'm connected to T-Mobile 4G LTE, and it's in standalone mode. I can tell you that this morning, I put my phone in my car, right? In my car, and just left it alone. Because normally, I work at a factory. It's a big, giant metal building. I don't get very good signal. And my phone usually is like 30 40% at the end of the day, and that's not normal. The battery life on this thing is amazing. That's not normal at all. So I left it in my car. Did not touch it. I had my watch all day long. Few things to mention. I have this linked to Google Voice. So on the watch, there is a way to figure out uh, what your phone number is. And it, once it's in standalone mode, you can simply dial a f no phone number like I did to find it. Or you can go into your settings to find what your uh, phone number is. So uh, about device. Yep. And then down there is your gear phone number. So I went on google.com slash voice. I, uh, something I've been using since 2008. A really long time now. Uh, and I've had I've had Verizon, Sprint, T-Mobile, AT&T. Every time I get a new number, I add, these two numbers right here are linked to one number. You call that one number, these two phones ring. Well, now I've got a third number here, and my watch will ring. If somebody was to call me right now, this would ring, this would ring, and this would ring. So I can just answer it on my watch, and the quality is actually pretty good. The speaker on this thing is loud enough where in the break room, it's it's disturbing. Like, you need to turn it down. <laughs> it's pretty loud. So it's its own little thing. It's it's it's. I've never had anything like this. I literally leave my phone in the car, and I don't I don't have Bluetooth on. This is not talking to my phone at all right now. This this is doing its own thing, and I can go to the phone app here. Go back to the there's messages or the phone, and you just can you can go ahead and hit hit the little dialer icon on the top left there, and you punch in the number you want to call. And then you hit this little green talk button there, and you'll be talking using the L, the voice on your watch. Now, if this is connected to your phone, it will route the thing to the phone. Because on my phone, I can actually, when I dial a number, I've got to choose Google Voice if I want them to see my Google Voice number. Or I choose Carrier. Uh, I like it that way because every now and then I call somebody that I don't want having my voice number because my T-Mobile number is a number that I could change at any time. I don't have anything. Nobody has that number. I don't even know that number. It's not important. I can just change it at any time if I need to. So I like being able to choose which number they see when I call them. So anyways, it will route it through here because last night it wasn't working and I was trying to figure that out. <laughs> I had to actually pick up my phone, unlock it, and hit the thing. So, oh, there's so much to talk about. I've been using two-step and Google Authenticator uh, on my Android Wear. It would say, hey, are you trying to sign in? And I would just hit yes. And then it would let me sign into the browser or whatever I'm using. Uh, this is It's not available on Tizen. I don't, I don't believe it. If I'm wrong, I will fix that in the future. But there's a, a lot of things about Android. And then Android Wear 2.0 is coming out. So I just don't know where gear fits in right now. I don't. But... As of right now, I don't think you can go buy an Android Wear device that it, that's its own standalone unit that does everything this does right now. So I, I believe that this is it's it's really cool. I'm really enjoying it. I don't think it could ever replace Android Wear for me. Android Wear is the you know <laughs> that Firefox before Chrome came out. Just all your add-ons, all your extensions, everything you love, it's all there. Here comes Chrome. No extensions that you use work. Nothing's there. But in time, it gets better and better and better and better. So I I, I, I don't know. There's there's a lot to be discovered. I do a ton of walking at work. That was zero when I woke up this morning. <laughs> so battery. It's been in standalone mode ever since I pulled off the charger this morning. And I got through most of the day with a pretty good charge. So, And this is a, fa a, a place where my phone usually is super freaking dead. My watch is at 58%. And a little charging base is a little wireless charger, and it's quick. I believe it fast charges. It, it It's pretty quick. You can go from like 90% to 100 in like five minutes because I needed to do that this morning when I was sleeping and knocked it off my charger and wanted it to be fully charged before work. So 
you can make phone calls, you can send text messages. <laughs> so it's its own little thing. It's awesome. And so I'm going to go ahead and turn on Bluetooth here on my phone and have it connect up to my phone. I have a lot of things that pair up. So whenever it does, it vibrates and this little watch thing will go away, this little icon. Now keep in mind, this process does take some time. It's not instant. And once you do that, everything is coming from your phone to here. Now, a lot of the things I liked about Android Wear, like notifications for Twitter and Instagram and Facebook and, and my messaging app from Google, it's voice, which they have to do Google Voice and now you can send pictures. Now I can use the Google Voice app on my phone and send pictures and stuff. It's pretty awesome. Like Everything I'm used to isn't here or I have to find a workaround to it. So, this again, there's a whole lot to be discovered. Now, it's talking to my watch. It's connected to my watch via Bluetooth. So, it just uh, downloaded some of the information from my Gear S3 here. So, anyways, let's open up the Gear app. And you'll see that my watch is connected. So, under Watch Faces, I have clicked Stylize and chosen like the color I want and the battery and I, the weather for whatever reason was not working. So I can go ahead and choose something else. Like I, I don't know when sunrise is. There you go. Something that actually works. I don't know why it wasn't working. So now on my watch here, it will say sunset. Stop saying it. It says no info. Okay. Whatever, maybe I need to get more time. So I can send content to the gear, uh, automatically syncing. I can select tracks. I can select photos. So I can send stuff to my gear. It only has like a little under two gigs to use for your own personal content. And apps you install on here are on here as well. So you'll want to make sure that you, uh, you, <laughs> you don't download a whole bunch to... This is currently the ones on here. And I could download more and I will be downloading more once I find them the gear connection here's the info see i've got about 2.6 gigs used so 1.4 free so and i haven't put anything on here that's mine no pictures no music no extra apps everything that's on here is what came on here so that's um you know you're you're gonna have to be careful on what you put on there obviously it's it's a watch and it tells you how much ram it's got free and stuff like that you can go ahead and go to the recent apps here and hit close all and then boom, now it's uh, everything's closed on your watch. And I don't know how off, how quickly this opens up, but you can use Samsung Pay. You can download other other apps. You can I can open S Health and see what I've done today. So there you go. It's synced with my Gear S3. So there we go. This is really really cool. I mean, there's a, a lot to discover. Obviously, I, I wanted a clock I could glance at in a quick little second without looking over the little hand and the big hand and something easier. And uh, I really like this because as a seconds and to where I work, it's important. You want to, <laughs> you want to clock out the moment that sucker rolls over to three o'clock. <laughs> oh man. It's, obviously this is just my first impressions. My first impressions are this thing as Flossie Carter would say is a go. It's a win. I, I like it a lot. Should you get this over an Android Wear? When Android Wear has its own standalone features, you use the watch independently and it doesn't need to have a phone connected to it, it's my honest opinion you would never, ever consider Tizen. You know, Android Wear is, I believe, the future and where things are going to go and, and they're already awesome and they can only get better with Android Wear 2.0. So... I, I I don't know how long it'll be before I uh, am returning this sucker, or if I keep it. I don't know. I, I have no clue. But as of right now, I really like it. Battery life, in my opinion, is great. Remember, my phone almost dies every day in this place. My watch was on standalone the whole time, using its own GPS, its own data, its own everything. And it's at 58% right now. I cannot complain. If I had it connected to my phone, it'd probably be at like 70%. And then there's ways to improve on battery life that I'm not using. So 
<laughs> I don't know. Hopefully you enjoyed this. This was a, a, a little bit of an extended a little like a rant about some things. And I, I went a little bit off topic like I normally do. That's just how I am. I am going to go ahead and uninstall all the Samsung services and Samsung push and Samsung framework. And, and I'm not even remotely kidding. I think I installed at least nine things from Samsung. You open the Samsung gear app and it installed like four other things on top of that from their app store that wasn't in the play store. It, it, it's, it's like uh, the Nexus 6P is my phone of choice. It is my favorite phone out right now. I love this thing. Definitely second place would be my note five. But I'm going to connect this to that because I feel that the the like 36 Samsung apps that are on my phone right now should not be there. <laughs> and considering that I don't need to have this phone on me, I can just bring, you know, have my watch and this phone. The two aren't talking to each other, but that's fine. And, you know, and if I do need to change something or I do need something that requires my phone, I'll just... You know, I, I carry this with me sometimes, so I, I don't know. I'm going to definitely switch things around and have this connected to that, and uh, my Android Wear was connected to this, so this is a Samsung phone. It has all the things that it needed to work out of the box, and that's that's all there is to it so this is just my first impressions uh hopefully i'll do a review uh, if i'm not lazy <laughs> i i did work a crap ton last week and i'm not even remotely kidding about that this week i'm not working overtime so i should have some time to make a review of this thing hopefully i'll do it before the 14 days so i can decide hey is this worth keeping for two years or no <laughs> i don't know if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. I'd greatly appreciate it. It actually helps out the channel. If you want to leave a comment, I will do my best to get to it when I get off work, when I have a second to look at comments and reply. I do reply when I see something that needs replied to. And uh, please follow me on Twitter and Instagram if you're not doing so already. I uh, need to figure out how to get Twitter alerts on my watch. I, I have so much to learn. And if it's not there, bummer. Moving on, <laughs> I really like to have a Twitter and Instagram and Facebook and all those apps, just constant notifications all day long on my freaking ZenWatch 2. Not the best Android Wear device in the world, but I got it on Amazon for like 100 bucks for my birthday last year, and uh, it, it, it gets the job done, but it's not, not the best. Anyways, this is What Would Josh Do, and I'm out.